Today is my great privilege to present our nation's highest civilian honor, the Presidential Medal of Freedom, to a courageous warrior and a fearless patriot, General Jack Keane. Jack was named a Vice Chief of Staff of the Army in 1999, as was in his office on September 11, 2001, when terrorists struck the Pentagon. He ran through smoke and debris and evacuated the injured, saving lives. He visited the wounded in hospitals and attended scores of funerals for the fallen patriots slain in the attack. Jack soon helped oversee the initial military operations in Iraq and Afghanistan and was the first senior military official to visit troops in the field. In 2006, Jack helped engineer the surge that stabilized the deteriorating situation in Iraq and allowed Iraqis to finally take charge of their own future. In the years since, Jack has continued to offer his sage counsel to military and policy leaders and to visit our troops on the frontiers. And Jack, I have to say, has given me a lot of good advice, too. I have known for some time that there were two major events that changed my life. The first was the Vietnam War. An infantry trial trooper in close combat with my soldiers where death was always a silent companion. Yet it was there I truly learned the value of life, the value of human life, to treasure it, to protect it. 9-11, the Pentagon, I lost 85 Army teammates, lived the tragedy up close, attended scores of funerals with Terry. Two days after, as a New Yorker, I was dispatched to the World Trade Center, horror, walking across those smoldering ruins and then making certain that Mayor Giuliani had all the military support that the Pentagon could render. It was personal, and I was angry. And despite having left the Army 17 years ago, I never left the 9-11 wars. And America's focus on radical Islam and what they did to us. I could not have imagined that I would stay so involved in national security and foreign policy. My motivation is pretty simple. Do whatever I can, even in a small way, to keep America and the American people safe.